morning, lovely beings. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome in the house. Um, we are forever awesome. And forever awesome in the house, once yes, again. Yes, yes, yes. And we help people and... Uh, well, you know, we're just getting adjusted, so we're, we're coming on. Yeah, information. And, uh, yes, I'm... Uh, this is Hydro. Hydro in the house, once again. Hydro Hellbreaker. And I'm Janneke Hellbreakers. And I'm... I'm uh, I call myself Miss Hellbreaker online. I share a lot of things that can help people. Yoga, meditation, breadwork, coaching, healing, mm -hmm. health and wellness, uh, books... Uh, income uh, possibilities online, like I help with, like uh, with a lot of things. Also, even frequency devices. Yeah, wherever I can help you with uh, or coach you, uh, you can uh, let me know. And you? All right, Hydro here. Part of a uh, no, we are for the boss. So, spiritual awakening teacher, health and wellness coach. I'm a digital artist and a video editor. And I do much more than just that. That's just my main titles, what I do. So it's always nice when I, when we say something wrong or something we don't know anymore what to say, that can hydro can always cut it out. Cut it, edit. <laughs> and mend it back together like it never happened. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so today we wanna that that's one thing that we want like there's a one thing that we wanted to share about already for a long time and now I felt it was today. Um, because we are doing also like what is something that can really help people clean themselves from the inside. So lots of cleansing. Yeah, we lots do a lot of cleansing. Of cleansing and fasting. Fasting, detoxing. Uh, but I also want to share now about enemas. You enemas, I want to share what it is. You can uh, put the uh, water in a in a bag, and you uh, it goes through. I think you can use distilled water. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you and it's no, you can also just use any no any water. Um, it's good if you warm it a bit up, so it's like body temperature. Body temperature, room temperature. And then you stick it up your. Yeah, basically you're flushing out your colon. Just, yeah. You're just basically cleaning the colon out. She doesn't know yeah, like. How would you say it in a good? Uh, I don't even know like a nice thing way to say it. Up your. No, I just say you just flush your colon out. I mean, yeah, yeah, but you have to put it somewhere. What? Oh, you have to um, insert the hose in the back side. Yeah. The back side. Yeah. So... Why is it the back side? Because like, it's not the side, but it's the back. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Never mind. Just no. Go ahead. It's... Yeah, you put it in your... Uh, back side. Bottom. Um, in your... <laughs> <laughs> you put it in your hole. Wait, we'll, cut, we'll cut some of this out. <laughs> You put it in your hole, Backside. and then, uh, and you can just choose however you want to do it. Like I have a bag, bag that, that contains two liters, so it contains two liters, and then you go sit on two the ground. Two liters usually filled with water, right? Yeah, with water, and you can warm the water up. You don't have to tell the method. We're gonna you can tell. Just tell them that, like, you just... I'm gonna share the whole method okay. how to do it. Yeah. Your experience. Yeah. So later on we tell you what other possibilities are out there as well to put in than only water. Oh uh, yes. yes. But now I'm going to share about the methods. So you can get in pharmacies or in online, you can get an yeah. enema bag. Or your enema bag. Yeah. So you fill it in with water. You can do, like even if like, you can do one, one liter maybe to start with. And you go up to two liters, but the two liters, this is like standard two liters, lots of times. Two liters and then water and you make it a bit lukewarm, so that when it doesn't come in, it's like, like uncomfortable. So you put it in and you go sit on the ground, like almost like in baby pose with the yoga. Oh like, oh, like the baby pose, I don't know what baby yeah, pose Yeah, but at like. least you're going on your, like, on your, like, uh, knees. like this, on your, on the ground. Oh, so you're on your knees, basically. Yeah, okay. your knee, yeah, like this, on your knees, and like this, huh? And you go all the way down, so it comes down, and it's, 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 it's goes all the way in. So basically, the in the bag of water, you hang the bag of water um, oh, really yeah. high, so the water comes all the way down, and then you insert that into your backside. And then you have to get onto the floor. You have to put yourself in a position to where you open up the colon and your 
to the work of flow to your intestines. It's a strange um, like um, like process, but like you need to do it properly to get the water into your local, your colon and your intestine. Yeah, and it can also be sometimes like uh, painful because it comes into certain pockets. You can be a bit cramping. Uh, while the process is going on. I think the lower intestine does have like po like not pockets, mm -hmm. but it has like sections where like, so you will feel it. If you have any blockages in there, you're gonna feel some pain. Um, and you might have, you might come across an instance where like, you might have like the water not go in there and it might come back out. Because that means you must have much, a much more serious blockage, which means like there's other ways to uh, get that blockage out, like magnesium citrate liquid. You can find online or you could probably find in your um, pharmacy. But, um, yeah, so make sure that the higher you put the bag, the quicker it goes in. Um, so I, I use it like this. I'm set on the ground. There are also people doing it in the shower while they're standing and it goes down. But there's different ways. But I like to do it in the baby pose on the ground. And then when it is done, you you do the, the nozzle. They're all different, but you, you stop the you nozzle. The water off, there's, yeah. a nozzle, there's a nozzle on it. So first you put the nozzle on and it comes in and at the end when the bag is empty you put the nozzle off and then you get up and you want the water to fill everything. So you go left, right, left, right, left, right, you shake, you jump up and down. down, up and down, and you shake. You can there, up in space. And jump in. Even people that have those things that go up and down, those uh, those uh, things that go up and down. Like the bench? The yeah, yeah, the bench. So, but it's, you can also just do like you go on the on the bed. You can do like sit ups. Yeah, but you, no, you go like you you roll yourself. Oh, you can roll your body like back and forth. Yeah, yeah, and like do the the candle. Kind of. Because pull. then you go all the way up. And then now you're really getting that water into your. Yeah. Your, your, your you can also do like left and right, left and right, up. You can also stand up and down because then it also goes in different places. So, so basically, this is all going to be like um, the pre-evacuation process. And before that happens, um, the, pre the, the, the evacuation process, of course, is when you locate the toilet. But um, I recommend not doing it in the shower. Like you just said, the way you do it, you just like find some way you can hang the bag and just do it. I recommend not going in the shower because you're not going to want to be in there because you're not going to have to want to be out after doing all the exercises. You're going to want to be like able to run. You don't want to come out of the shower. You just yeah, you can just go out of you can just, you can just No, you can just do it anywhere where you can hang it as long as you have nobody around. Yeah, you, know? you, can, just go, you can just hang it and do it anywhere. And then make sure that you like do all those things. Because this will loosen everything up in your in your system. And then you want to have it inside as long as possible because it really hold the water inside. Yeah, yeah. Liquid. As long as possible, uh, you will have urges like oh, you need to uh, you go to the toilet, but make sure that you do, like hold it until it really needs to go because the longer you hold it in the more it loosens your stool, what's in there. Because that is the whole thing that lo that you get old stool out there. Because a lot of people don't are not even aware that we have, everybody has five to 10 kilos of old shit in there. Mm -hmm. And that is what a lot of times the gut has a direct effect with your, with your mood and your yep. uh, head and your brain fog. If you have brain fog, uh, depressed, not having like good thoughts, it's because there's like old shit, like literally and figuratively, yep. uh, holding you back. System. And it has a direct connection with your brain and how you think. So the more you clean it out, the more you, uh, you feel lighter. Uh, so that's why it's so important to, to let that go. With an enema, you can really do that. And once it really comes, uh, make sure like do it at least like 10 minutes, all of these exercises, uh, 10 minutes. But if you need to go, you need to go. Um, but uh, try to make it 10 minutes. And when it comes, it comes and see what comes out and how you feel after. It's especially how you feel after. Um, and it's also just, good because it, it, yeah. it breaks up the collection if possible if there's any parasites it'll break up that collection because once a blockage forms in your system um, parasites will, will begin to collect there and then, so once you can do those every now and then or when you feel you need to it's going to loosen breaking all that it'll break all that up and then you always keep yourself clean and go back about what you're saying about feeling lighter because it's much it's, it's, it's a great thing actually. yeah it's such a great thing you feel really really much lighter me also I feel like emotionally energetically I feel so much lighter and the 
an enema, you can really do at home yourself and it cleans already a lot, but it cleans only the large intestines mostly. So if you want to clean even more, also the small mm. intestines, then it's good also to do colonics. colonics. So you can go to a professional and that does a colonics and then you not only clean a larger uh, part, but you also clean out much more because there's more water coming in and out. So it's like 10 times the amount of one enema or something. So it cleans out even more because it, it like more water comes in and more water goes out. You're cleaning out, it definitely clean out some unwanted visitors that are probably in your system that you don't even, that you're unaware of. But it will remove, it will definitely remove that stuff. Colonics yeah. might be a bit costly, but let me tell you, your health, worth it. your health is way worth it. So you go ahead and do this if you need it, if you know you need it. Yeah, and we're all much more blocked up than we think ourselves. I did one colonic and the woman said like, oh, for what you're eating, I thought you would be much less blocked up uh, because I told her how, how healthy I was eating. But, but I was not hot, healthy eating before mm. for a long time. And that's what you're saying. Uh, you had like a regular American diet. Who knows? Uh, huh? Yeah, that's um, funny. Your American diet is dying. <laughs> diet. Diet. Yeah. Yeah. I hope that isn't you know stuck to the end. That's funny. Yeah, I was making a joke, but it didn't go over. But yeah, because your American diet is um. It's so hard. You say diet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But like, cause really, the American diet, yeah, diet, cause yeah. You know, it's just you're done when you're eating that stuff. Everybody on medications. Mm -hmm. It's um, so that's why if we would already eat healthy for the rest of our lives and have a good digestion and eat healthy, we don't need all of this. But because we had that, we need this to to feel better in this in this moment. So. Uh, of enemas, uh, I also want to share things that you can put in, like a lot of the standard enemas is water. Uh, there are also people that put limes or lemon uh, juice in there. Or bicarbonate, just a little bit of bicarbonate, which is baking soda. But the lime and lemon juice takes as astringent that takes even more oh, yeah, yeah. away. So yeah. that's why lime and lemon juice is it's good to drink also mm -hmm. to pull everything out, all the toxins out. But they're also good for, for the backside to pull everything out. And you said baking soda, you can also put that in anima? I would, well, like me, like I would probably suggest like a little less than a teaspoon or something. I don't yeah. know how much. Okay. You got to be careful when you're using sodium bicarbonate. And you also have to make sure that it's aluminum free. There's no aluminum in it. Because a lot of people say, oh, it's a baking soda, but you must be um, be warned and stay away from anything that has aluminum in it. Yeah, make sure that you have the right version. one. And so you can also do herbal teas in there. There's like specific herbal teas for enema, so you can reach, look that up online. Um, there's also people that um, do coffee enemas, that is especially to clean the liver. Um, but I never felt resonating with that because I don't want to have caffeine in my body. So that is for everybody different. There are people doing that, but I'd rather not do that. Teach his own for, for the experience that you're going to have. Because somebody might feel the need to do that, somebody might feel the need not to do it. I agree with you on that one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use coffee. I'm just, I don't resonate with coffee either. I never yeah. drink it. I just. But herbal tea is a good one. I, I read in the detox book that they have like cer certain herbal teas that is really good to use for that as well. So there's different options out there, and uh, I would just start with just regular water, warm it a bit up, two two liters. And if it's too warm, you have to let it sit. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure it's like more, not like, too, too, too cold or too hot. Like okay. body temperature and then it's okay. And also when it's like a bit hurting, when it comes in, it will it will go away at one point. So, uh, But this is really, really a good uh, thing that you can do at your own home to become lighter and to clean yourself up. And trust me, this might like, you might be having an issue, um, some kind of medical ailment. I'm not a doctor over here, so I'm not going to put anything out there. But I know from my experience, like... If you clean that lower intestine now, like you'll feel so much better and it might fix a lot of things that you might not have known could be fixed just because you have your lower intestine cleaned out. Uh, I would say just clean your system out as many times as you can. I mean, not when you can, but clean it out when you feel the need to, to do so. Yeah, so this is, for, this is something that we do regularly and this is something that you can do as well. And uh, that's why we want to share about that. 
And thank you for listening. And uh, who knows, uh, I had already friends. I inspired some friends to do it as well. And I felt really good after, so who knows. And you lose a few pounds too. You get lighter. You literally get lighter. Like, Physically, emotionally. Yeah, you lose pounds. Energetically, you actually lose a lot of shit. The evacuation process is uh, no joke. Pretty so, uh, yeah, it's not easy to do it, but then after you feel much lighter. So, uh, maybe it's something for you, but at least we told you how to do it. Uh, so, you can do it now and you just can get that anywhere online or with the local pharmacy. And it's really, it doesn't cost much. So, uh, and if again, if your local pharmacy, sorry, if they don't, I, I disrupted you. Interrupted. If your local pharmacy doesn't have it, um, always online. Yeah, so thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. And uh, may you also feel lighter and find different ways to become lighter. Yes, and uh, if this helps you, uh, you don't have to let us know. You can if you want to. We'll share our experiences. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, well, awesome in the house. I'm wishing you all the best. Love, light, peace, power, and happiness, everybody. Bye bye. Until next time. <laughs>